Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how we are going to be convert strings to the dates. Also, how we are going to be convert timestamp to the date data types. And if there is any invalid record, how it is going to be passed in the pandas. Okay, let's see how we are going to be handle these things in, by using pandas. Now, launch your Jupyter Lab from Anaconda Navigator. Once you are there, just type your uh, initial steps to import your file into the pandas. I'm trying to executing my initial step. I do have some set of the data. If you have look at my data in the year column, if you can see the first four characters are representing year, then separated by slash, I'm passing the value as month, then separated by slash, I'm passing date. Simply first year, then month, and date values. So this is how I have given sample set of records. Now, when you're trying to import these values into pandas, if you can see what is the data type of year column. Now, if you can see here, year has a data type of object. Now, I want to convert my data type from object to date data type. Okay, let's see how we are going to be convert. So what is the column we are trying to convert? We are converting a column, year column from object to date. So that's why I'm taking my year column in data frame call underscore sales. By using a function in pandas to underscore date time, we will convert our string values to the date values. Now I'm passing two underscore date time to my data set. So I'm, I'm converting here my year column from string to the date data type using two underscore date time function and assigning all those values into same data frame call underscore sales. But this time, <coughs> this is my date data type. Okay, now let's see call underscore sales dot head of Three. Now let's try to execute this one. If you can see here, earlier the values were separated by slash. Now the values are separated by iPhone between year and month, month and dates. Right. And if you can see D types of the this particular data frame, it will represent date data type. here it converted year to date time 64 earlier that was year is object data type okay so let's say for example if you have if you have here timestamp also i will have only year month and date now i'm trying to pass my timestamp also Let's say here I'm trying to pass some 13, uh, 0, 9, 10. 13 hours, 0, 9 minutes, 10 seconds. I'm trying to pass this one here. If you can see here, I'm trying to pass 9 hours, 34 minutes, 21 seconds. I'm trying to pass the same values here again. Trying to pass the same value here also. Right. I'm just saving my values now. So go ahead and re import your data. See here. And if you can see D types here, it's an object. Now I'm going to be converting by using same two underscore date time to year column. 
Now let's try to execute. See here. Earlier we passed year, month, and day. Now we are trying to pass our minute and seconds. So the two underscore day time will automatically detect the values and will convert whatever the format it has. Either if if you can see here, the format is year, month, and day. Even if you change the format, the two underscore date time in Pandas will automatically detect the format and whatever the format you have given, even if you replace a slash with other separator, that will detect that one and convert those values from strings to the date data types. If you can execute this one, if you can see the latest values and if you can see the types here, date time 64. So this is how you are going to be convert your strings to the dates. Now, let's say for example, I'm passing an invalid record here. So I'm trying to pass 13 here in the month, but we don't have any month with 13, right? Then it will throw another, if you can see here, and I'm trying to execute now, I just completed my re-importing. Re Sorry, I didn't save it. Yeah, so if you can see the record here, 13 with the month. Now you're trying to execute now. That will throw another month must be in 1 to 12. Right. If you want to avoid this type of errors and you want to pass your and you want to pass your record with a null value, then we need to pass a parameter here errors equal to codes. If you pass errors equal to codes, then it will detect the record is in my record and place the value with a null with a null value if you can see here and a t when is an invalid record and if you can see data types of the year that is still date time 64 now if you want to pass the same value instead of passing an at value if you want to pass the same value then you need to place as a sequel equal to ignore right and just try to re-import your data frame and try to execute this one see here when you put as a sequel to ignore but that will pass the same value whatever the value you are trying to pass that will pass the same value and how about the d types if you can execute the d types that will become object that won't become a date data type because this is not a valid record for the to convert string to that date. So that's the reason if you put errors equal to ignore when it is passing the same value, the here it will be object data type. So this is how we are going to be convert our values to the date data type. Thank you guys.